वेलकम टू दी लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ मैकेनिक्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट परपेंडिकुलर एक्सेस थियोरम आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल फर्स्ट सी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर एक्सेस थियोरम एंड सेकंड वी विल प्रूव द परपेंडिकुलर एक्सेस थियोरम सो लेट अस स्टार्ट इट हियर अ प्लेन सेक्शन ऑफ एरिया ए हैज बीन गिवन देयर आर थ्री mutually perpendicular axis ox oy and oz has been given now if the moment of inertia of this lamina about xx and yy axis is known then the moment of inertia of this lamina about the axis zz which is perpendicular to xx and yy axis can be determined using perpendicular axis theorem so perpendicular axis theorem is useful when the moment of inertia about the moment of inertia of any area about two mutually perpendicular axis is known and moment of inertia of the same lamina about the third perpendicular axis is to be determined then this axis will be useful so let us start with the statement of perpendicular axis theorem So according to statement of perpendicular axis theorem it state that if i xx and i yy be the moment of inertia of a plane section about two mutually perpendicular axis xx and yy in the plane of section then the moment of inertia of the section i zz about axis zz perpendicular to the plane and passing through the intersection of xx and yy is given by i zz that is equal to i xx plus i yy here i zz is also called polar moment of inertia according to the statement of perpendicular axis theorem i xx and i yy are the moment of inertia of this area about two perpendicular axis xx and yy which are in the plane of lamina so this xx axis and yy axis in the same plane of lamina but it is mutually perpendicular to each other and moment of inertia i zz of this section that is equal to moment of inertia of this section about the axis which is perpendicular to the plane of lamina means it is perpendicular to xx yy and this lamina and it is passing through the intersection of the xx and yy axis so i zz can be determined is equal to summation of i xx and i yy now let us try to prove this here in this figure a plane section of area a is lying on a plane xy as shown in figure here ox and oy are two mutually perpendicular axis and oz is perpendicular to this two axis now consider this small area da here x that is distance of da from oy axis here y that is distance of da from ox axis and r that is distance of area da from oz axis so from figure we can write r square that is equal to x square plus y square let us determine moment of inertia of da about x axis now moment of inertia of this small area about ox axis that is equal to area into distance into distance so area is da and distance from ox axis is y so it will be da into y square 
now moment of inertia of total area will be equal to summation of this so moment of total area a about x axis that is equal to summation of all such moment of inertia that is summation of da into y square similarly we can determine moment of inertia of this lamina about oy axis it is equal to summation of moment of inertia of all such element about this oy axis so it will be equal to summation of da into x square and same way we can also determine the moment of inertia of total area about z axis that is equal to da into r square so moment of inertia about z axis it can be written as izz so izz that is equal to da into r square but r square we know that r square is equal to x square plus y square so here in this term instead of r square x square plus y square has been written and it is simplified now from this equation summation of da into a into y square that is moment of inertia of the total area about x axis so it can be written as i x x and summation of da into y square that is equal to moment of inertia of total area about y axis so it can be written as i y y this is the proof of statement of perpendicular axis theorem this equation will be very useful in solving the problem of moment of inertia thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt or query please write in the comment box i will be there to help you thank you thank you very much